Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a one-point perspective drawing uh, using a horizon line and one vanishing point. <clears throat> and we're just going to start with making some squares look like they are cubes and are floating. So I'm going to start by making sure that my ruler is exactly horizontal. And you can use the edge of your paper as a guideline, and that's why I like these clear rulers, because I can see through. If I can see through my ruler and notice, oh, whoops, that's not straight. When I line up my ruler like that, then I know that my ruler's horizontal. When you're using the ruler, spread your fingers out really wide and press down, so that will keep your ruler steady. And I'm drawing a light line all the way across horizontal. Don't push down really, really hard, because if the line's not quite right and you go to erase it, you'll get your ghost lines. They'll be spooky. All right, I'm going to make my one vanishing point. Now, I'm going to do two squares above the horizon line and two squares below the horizon line so you can see the difference on how the squares turn into cubes and the different parts of the cubes that you can see depending on where it is along the horizon line. So to start with, I'm going to do my horizontal lines for the bottom of these cubes. I'm going to make sure that this is vertical. See how I'm using these guidelines to the ruler to make sure it lines up on that horizon line? Vertical. Whoops. Well, I guess that was okay. And now I'm going to slide this over so it's parallel and make another vertical on this. And now I'm going to do a horizontal. If your lines are different lengths, don't just connect the top of the line. That's a diagonal. So go by the horizontal, and you can always erase any extra pencil line. So I've got that extra little blip. I'm just going to erase that. All right, so now I can come over here, finish this box, vertical, vertical. horizontal, and erase. All right, so far, I don't have any diagonals. Everything is horizontal or vertical. That's it. All right, now down here, I'm going to start with some horizontals. Horizontal, horizontal. I'll slide up so it's parallel. Should I connect the ends of the line like that? I should not. I want to make sure that my ruler is perfectly vertical. Slide it over. And then any extra little erase. All right. <clears throat> How about like that? Nope. This should be vertical. Using my guidelines here. Pressing down hard. Like this. No. Make sure it's vertical. We only have verticals and horizontals until now. Now we are ready to connect the corners of these squares to the vanishing point. And this is the magic trick that's going to make these squares look three-dimensional. So you start with one corner and you angle it to the vanishing point and you draw a line. Do this very lightly. I'm going to keep it on the vanishing point, but pivot it to this corner and draw a line. Pivot down to this corner and draw a line. Starting to look three-dimensional. Now I can come over to here and do it with this one. And I'm going to continue this for all corners of my squares. Now, I could do this corner if this was a see-through cube, but if it's a solid form, then I wouldn't connect that corner to the vanishing point because I wouldn't be able to see that angle. All right, coming up to the top. That 
one was a little bit off. Okay, so this right now either could be we're standing on the ground looking at these long buildings that go way off into the distance, like almost like trains, and then some crazy floating forms. Um, I don't know what they would be. Or we can imagine that we're flying, looking straight down, and these are tall skyscrapers, and we're really, really tall. So I don't know if you can see that alternate perspective also. Um, if you wanted to make these just simple, smaller cubes that weren't going all the way to the vanishing point in the horizon, you need to make them end. So the way to do that is you line up your ruler, slide it across, and draw another vertical line. Start at the horizontal, slide that up, to where your vertical ended and draw a horizontal. And now this extra can be erased. So I'm gonna do it over here, but I'm gonna do something wrong. I wanna see if you can catch what I'm doing wrong. This is a common, common mistake. Hmm. Anyone see it? Yeah, so this line should be vertical, which means that it needs to be exactly parallel to the edge of the square. So you line it up, slide it across, that's the angle that the line should be. So we're going to erase this one. And then as far as the top side goes, that needs to be parallel with the top of your square. So <clears throat> lining it up and sliding it up to here and making that horizontal will make that look like a cube. And then this can be erased also. And I'm gonna do the same for the top cubes. Okay, and there you have four cubes, two below the horizon line, two above the horizon line. And you can notice the different sides of these cubes that you're able to see depending on its placement on the horizon line. So have fun playing around with this and maybe even try out some different shapes and see if you can make them three-dimensional within a one-point perspective world.